Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that on a rainy day there were only five students in a class, and their English teacher decided to give them a word game. And in this, he prepared twenty-five chits with a different letter and excluding the letter Q. So excluding Q, all letters were used, and each student received five chits. In each round, the students picked one chit at random, and the group collaborated to form. Five letter words by rearranging the letters on their chits, ensuring that each word used letters from every person's chits. So one had to use letters from every person's chits, and you have to form five letter words. So this basically means that all these five letters are present in five different chits. Below are thirteen words that have been made out of them. So these are the words given to us. Based on it, we need to categorize them into five categories, right? So let's start. Uh, let's make five numbers. These are not in any particular order. Okay, so we will just categorize them one, two, three, four, five. This is categorize categorization and not numbering. Now let us start with two words that have multiple letters common in them. That will help us determine. Uh, let's start the problem using that. So if you look at the word diver. Okay, and the word finer, they have three letters common in them. I, E, and R. That is common in them. So let us say the word diver is made like this: D, I, V, E, R. Okay, that does not mean that this is the first person. This can be any person. And now, if you look at finer, I, E, R are common. So this means F and N are part of one or three. Okay, so we have used these two words. So similarly, we will find the common words and eliminate uh, the cases and find out the letters on each of the chits. Now, next, if we look at the word learn, because we have used uh, e here, okay. So l e a r n, we have used e and r. So l a n, e and r have been used in. Four and five, so L A N will be in one, two, three. Okay, so that is also taken care of. Next word we can look at is uh, windy. Okay, because we see I and D being used, so W D Y can be used in. Sorry, W N Y can be used in the. Uh, the positions three, four, five. Okay. Now, if you look at this, compare these two. It says F and N in one or three, and here N is common. It is present in third. So this means N is present in the third chit. Okay. So if N is present in three, that means F is present in one. So F is present in this chit. Okay. Now N is used. So W, Y have to be in four and five. And L and A in one or two. Okay. Now we can uh, similarly find out some common words, more common words like this. So let's use the word grain. Okay. So if we use the word grain, of which R I N are already present. R I N are already present in the word. So that means G and A have to be in one. Or four, G A in one or four, and L A in one or two. So that means A is in one. Okay, take common thing. A is in one here and one here. So A is in one, and L is in two. Similarly, A is in one, so G is in four. Okay, so we will start using words that have these letters being used. Okay, next we can. Uh, so we used grain also. Let's use the word prawn. Okay. So, if you look at the word prawn, we have used the letter R A N. R A N have been used in five, one, and three respectively. So, P W are in two and four. Okay, P W have to be in two and four. Now, if you look at W here, W is either four or five. Okay, so that means W is in four. 
So we get W here and Y will be in 5. W is in 4. So P will be in 2. So P is also placed here. So prawn has also been used. Now similarly we will proceed with more words like this. Let us look at the word wood. Okay. Wood W L D have been used in 4, 2 and 1 respectively. So O U have to be used in 3 or 5. O U has to be in 3 or 5. Okay. Now uh, if you look at the word holes, okay, we see that O is used here and E is also used here. Now E is in 4. No, holes is no holes is not common. We will have to see O U among three or five. Holes, if we see, we have L and E common. So, if we could find a letter with more letters common, that would be beneficial for us. So let's look at this word sized. Okay, S I Z E D. Okay, I is I E and D are already used. So I E and D are one, two, four. So S and Z are three or five. S and Z in three or five. Okay. Now, uh, if we take the word holes. L is used, E is used. Okay, L E is used. So H and L E are used in 2 and 4. So H O S in 1, 3, 5. Okay, H O S in 1, 3, 5. So mm, this means that O is common in these two. Okay, so U and H will be used in the same group. H O S and O is common in these. So, O is or well, let's take another word that is crabs. Okay, crabs is A is used, R is used. So, C, B, S are in two, three, four. C, B, S in 2, 3, 4. Now, if you look at this, uh, S and Z are in 3 or 5. So, S could only be in 3. So, S is in 3. Z will be in 5. Okay, Z is in 5 and S is in 3. H, O in 1, 5. That means O is in 5, common here. So, O is also filled. Then, uh, this means U will be in 3. Okay, and H O O is in 5, so H is in 1. That is also used. Now uh, C R A B S, so S is used, and C and B are in 2 or 4. Okay, C B in 2 or 4. Next word is crabs has been used, holes has been used. Uh, we are yet to use the word shock. Okay, so let's use the word shock. S O H. So S shock if we use S H O C K. S is in 3, H is in 1, O is in 5. So C and K have to be in 2 or 4. Okay, C and K are in 2 or 4. Now, C is one out of them. So, B and K will be in the same group. Okay, so this we will get as B and K are in the same group. Which one we do not know. Let us look at the remaining uh, couple of words also. We can use the word uh, exact. Uh, 
and bumpy let's see which which has more letters e a so e a are the only letters bumpy if you look at so if you look at the word bumpy so b is not yet used u is in 3 m is not yet used p is in 2 and y is in 5 so b and m are to be in 1 4 so b m in 1 or 4 okay b m in 1 on 4 and here we see c and b are in 2 or 4 so that means b is in 4 okay b is in 4 m will be in 1 so this is the b is in 4 c will be in 2 okay c is in 2 that means uh, k is in 4 okay c is in 2 so k is in 4 okay so this is also used now we are left with three letters and uh, <coughs> the word that is left is exact okay the only word that is left with us is exact now e is e is in 4 x is missing a is in 1 and uh, c is in 2 so x and t are in 3 and 5 so these two will be <coughs> x or t t or x then one of the letters will be missing that we will have to figure out uh, using the given letters which of the letters is missing so if you count a b c d uh, a is used b is used c d e f g h i and j is not used anywhere like if you look at the words also notice these words j is not used in any of the given words and j is not present in this table also okay so j will be present in this group so this gives us the five groups for these two groups we cannot determine uh, x and t their specific order okay in which group they are present now let us look at the answer questions if letter a is with akhil which of the following letters is also with akhil so akhil should have d f h or m so that is m is the correct answer the letter j is with the same person who has the letter so j is with c l i or p so the right answer is c which of the following words can be formed by rearranging the letters so let's see hives can be formed hives h i v e but s is with the same letter so we cannot form hives youth uh y is here y and o in the same one so not possible slang s and n in the same word so we should have flown so let us check if we can make flown f l o w n so flown is possible which of the following is the complete set of letters with a single student so we have b e g k w b e g k w so that is the complete set which is present okay so if you look at the second option s u n b t we are not sure about t okay so it could be t or x similarly r z o x y r z o x or t we are not sure of so these two cannot be the answers okay and d h a m p it is not correct which of the following additional words will help uniquely determine all the letters present in with all the students so we have to uniquely determine and we see that x and t are missing in this so any of the word which uses x or t should be our answer so the answer should be chest so if you use the word chest so we see c is being used here and uh, <coughs> that will give us uh, c h e s and this will help you uniquely determine that t is present here and x is present here so the word is chest so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions